Yesterday I did a video where I highlighted some issues and some flawed logic from Jeron from the Jeronism channel. Essentially a little bit of misrepresentation and like I said some flawed logic as well. I just want to show you this clip which has come off the back of yesterday's video. Just a very short clip. Alright, uh, I'll get this going. Uh, iPad. Um, just so I can draw it a little easier than on my screen. And game capture should be in there. Okay. So um, I've just seen people on Facebook and things like that, or you know, people making videos. I saw Level Earth Observer made a video today. Uh, basically, I'm sure calling me a shill. It's called The Last Pantomime. And uh, No, I didn't call you a shill. I was pretty respectful considering what was on show, Jaron. What I did state, though, was your flawed logic was so bad, it actually made you look suspicious. That's what I said. And I highlighted several things in there where you'd essentially misrepresented me. What you were essentially trying to do, Jaron, was straw man a demonstrable realist with your interpretation of what you think the flat earth is. And naturally, I wasn't going to have it, okay? I didn't say you were a shill, but I can assure you there's plenty of people in the comment section that don't think too favourably of you. The people in the comment section aren't a reflection of me. I only speak for myself and I'm the only person who represents me. But your flawed logic was so bad that it was, did, make you look suspicious, Jaron, okay? Uh, that's, what's really weird about these people saying that is they might as well say that they don't believe what they've been saying all these years. Whereas I... I'm just going to stop you there again, Jer uh, Jaron. Demonstrable reality isn't a belief system. It's reality. So there's no belief. What I stood by nine years ago, I still stand by now. And not one single thing I've stated regarding this earth has ever been refuted with practicality. It can only be confirmed. So it's not a belief system, Jaron, okay? Do you believe what I've been saying? And therefore... And Jaron's free to believe whatever he wants, and that's fine. But I'm not going to accept uh, someone trying to straw man me with their own belief system. When I've clearly stated time and time again, I'm a demonstrable realist. Jaron, you really need to add a bit of polish to your game. Just like I do with the quality of these videos. <laughs> Stick with simplistic truths. By all means, do your thing in Antarctica. But should you see that light circle you, don't go thinking reality's wrong, mate. It just means this realm, this place we find ourselves, is even more fascinating than I originally thought. Remember, the globe's impossible. That's been proven time and time again for the last 10 years by every single person on this earth through non-citation of a practical reference that would suggest the Earth is a spinning, wobbling oscillating ball in a vacuum. It's just ridiculous. I chose the path of demonstrable reality because it's the most simplistic approach to this subject and literally cannot be refuted. There's no lever points whatsoever. But when you push things you haven't verified, there's lever points for potential problems, Jaron, okay? And that's what I highlighted. You are free to believe whatever you want, but like I said, please don't try to straw man a demonstrable realist with your own interpretation of what you think the flat earth is, okay? All the best, everyone.